Welcome to our chocolate shop. How are you doing? So did you know what you wanted to get today or? Okay, well why don't you come over here we can sit down together. I can show you through the sampler that we have right now. Yeah, wonderful. This is the delightful sampling platter that we have of our delicious handcrafted chocolates. We do have quite an extensive range. This is not the full extent of our range, so for a chocolate box if you want the full range, we do have a 72-piece box, and that has the full range of our chocolates. This is just a sampling of some of them. So, what I'll do, I'll just take you through and tell you about all these chocolates that we have. Yes, now our chocolatiers are very passionate about the work they do, and these are the finest, most high-quality chocolates. Let's start on this side. So over here, we have our chocolate macadamia nut clusters in dark chocolate. For all of our clusters, they come in dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. This particular sampling tray we have right now has the dark chocolate and some white chocolate. Uh, you can see the shaping on the white chocolate's a little bit different. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to those. These macadamia nuts are sourced from Hawaii. They are simply delicious. The nut clusters come in this three nut arrangement and they just really magnify the beautiful taste of those deliciously rich nuts. The next chocolate we have here is the orange sherbet chocolate has a beautiful, creamy orange interior with a strong orange flavoring. Here you see it. This is my personal favorite way to have it. Dipped in the white chocolate. It does also come in a dark chocolate variety as well. I think it really just gives it a nice summery flavor to have it in that fashion. I misspoke earlier, we do actually have a nut cluster here. This is our milk chocolate cashew cluster. Yeah, very delicious. Obviously, you just have that beautiful cashew flavor. It is so delicious. Mm, yes, definitely, definitely worth eating. Next here is a coconut cream chocolate. Yeah, just a beautiful, light and delicate flavor of the coconut nestled in a nice shell of dark chocolate. And it has this little ring of white chocolate on the top. It's just part of what uh, helps us identify. Obviously, a lot of these look quite similar, so we have different methods for setting them apart. This is the coconut. I love the contrast of the white against the really dark chocolate. Really excellent chocolate there. Moving on, we have the hazelnut cluster in dark chocolate. Again, this is a very delectable option. The hazelnuts have a very earthy flavor, which is very well complemented by the dark chocolate flavor.
flavor. Here we've hit our first caramel. We do have most of these square shapes that you see will be a caramel version. This is a cashew caramel. So the cashews are folded inside the creamy, delicious caramel and then hand dipped in chocolate. This one is in a milk chocolate, but they do come in dark or milk chocolate for all of the caramel varieties. Yes, so yeah, these are lovely. You can actually get, if you prefer to just have nut caramels, we can do a normal size box, which is the 24, uh, full of just the caramel varieties, the nut and caramel varieties, so it just has nut clusters and caramels. If you prefer a little bit more variety, then we throw the creams and the bonbons in there as well. Yeah. This is our vanilla. Yeah, it actually looks quite similar to the, um, that's the macadamia. That's the caramel from the macadamia. That's the only one that rolls into a ball. It's because it's a single macadamia nut in there, just folded inside the caramel. And then obviously topped with a second macadamia nut. Anyway, so they do look quite similar if you just kind of glance at them. I always get them mess up. I always mess them up. <laughs> but, but this one is delicious. It's actually um, not purely vanilla. It's got a little bit of rum in there flavoring. So it's a rum vanilla cream. Super delicious. I love this combination. Um, yeah, it was developed by one of our other chocolatiers. I can't take credit for that one. So delicious, though. And just a be beautiful, smooth, creamy consistency. And the chocolate just melts in your mouth. Marvelous. Here we have a caramel pecan chocolate. So it's the, usually has about two pecans just folded inside of the caramel, dipped in chocolate, and obviously topped off with another pecan on top. Yeah, I love the nut ones. It just, the caramel is so creamy, and then you just get a little bit of earthiness to cut through the sweetness of the caramel, and uh, it's spectacular. This one is a coffee bonbon. So it's a creamy coffee with a little bit of coffee flavoring in there. And then obviously dipped. This one comes in dark milk and white chocolate. And then it's just sprinkled on top with some coffee granules as well obviously to help us tell them apart, but obviously just a little bit of the artistry as well. Yeah, no, it's a really, uh, really beautiful one. Uh, great for coffee drinkers. They tend to really like just that deep coffee aroma that you get from that. And it is made with high quality Makona coffee. Mm -hmm. And then we have the macadamia caramel. Again, I said that just one macadamia nut just really wrapped up in a piece of caramel and dipped in chocolate and topped off with the macadamia nut. Next we have the white chocolate pecan cluster. Yeah, this one you can see a little bit more of the nut peeking out. We do have the two styles on the clusters, and it kind of depends on our whims on which ones we are making for the day. So these ones have some kind of sticking out, and these ones are completely enveloped and get a little bit more chocolate kind of spilling off the edges. Just a couple of our different ways of making them. This is a very 
unique chocolate here in Australia. Mm -hmm. It is quite popular with some and not very well liked by others. This is our Vegemite chocolate. So it's a beautiful, creamy chocolate interior, also mixed with Vegemite. So it's got a very distinct Vegemite flavor in there as well. And then obviously dipped in milk chocolate and then drizzled on the top with some dark chocolate as well. Very unique flavor. I'm not the hugest fan of Vegemite, so this chocolate not completely up my alley, but those who do like Vegemite rave about it, so you can't disagree with that, can you? Here is one of my absolute favorite chocolates. This one is amazing, especially if you like chocolate chip cookie dough. This is a chocolate chip cookie dough bonbon. So it's got a cookie dough flavored interior. It actually does have chocolate chips as well in there. It's actually a recipe that is used for chocolate chip cookies without the eggs in it so that it doesn't go bad. But it really takes on that flavor and it's oh, so yummy. And then obviously dipped in dark chocolate. You can also get it with light chocolate. And then we have the trio of chocolate chips across the top. Next is our strawberry chocolate. This is a nice little half moon type shape. A little more dome shaped rather than uh, round. And this is a delicious, it's more of a natural type strawberry flavor on this. So it's flavored more like a strawberry jam with real strawberries than an artificial strawberry flavor that you, you know, might see in other settings. Yeah. Very delicious. And then it's dipped in the dark chocolate, and we've got a little, yeah, just a cursive S on the top there in the white chocolate. This also comes in a milk chocolate variety as well. No, we did used to make it in white chocolate as well. It uh, wasn't very, it didn't sell very well, so we've just stuck with just the dark and the milk chocolate now. Mm-hmm. Over here we have our pecan nut cluster. This one in the dark chocolate. Yeah, very, very delicious. I just well, can't get over the combination of the nut and the dark chocolate. Oh, it just goes together so well. Here we have a hazelnut caramel. And this is done very similarly to the way the macadamia is, where it has one single nut enrobed in the middle of a caramel, then dipped in chocolate, little nut dropped on top as well. Very cute. This is our cinnamon swirl chocolate. You can see it's sprinkled with cinnamon on the top. And it is quite a delicious chocolate. It's a white vanilla cream on the inside, swirled through with cinnamon, and then dipped in white chocolate and sprinkled with the cinnamon on top as well. It gives a very distinct, um, different feel than a lot of the other chocolates. It's along with our orange sherbet, kind of the least chocolatey chocolate. Yeah, kind of going a bit of a different direction rather than the more milk and dark chocolate that we have for the majority of our pieces. Next here is one of my personal favorites. This is the balsamic cream chocolate. It's 
a bonbon and it's got a beautiful smooth creamy texture with a healthy dose of balsamic vinegar in there amazing flavor if you've never had a sweet balsamic flavor I highly recommend trying this it really pairs well reminds me one of my favorite things is if you get a nice balsamic syrup great to have on a bowl of vanilla ice cream forget chocolate syrup get the balsamic syrup this is like that in chocolate form it is amazing dipped in dark chocolate I think that knocks it out of the park but we do it in a milk chocolate version as well if you prefer just have a nice little B on the top there so you know that's your balsamic one. Here we have another caramel option. This is an almond caramel and there would be about three or four almonds wrapped and just massaged into the caramel and then shaped into a lovely little cube dipped and a little almond put on top. Very lovely. Here we have our dark chocolate cashew cluster. Again, just marvelous. Definitely worth eating. Next we have here a mint cream bonbon. This does come in all three varieties, so dark, milk, and white. Though I think nothing beats the dark chocolate. It is a colored cream on the inside, so you get a hint of green on the inside just to really set it off. It's quite spectacular, just anything. I mean, mint and chocolate were a marriage made in heaven, and this one is no exception. And I love this little detailing on the top, just a little leaf, even a little line coming right through there. Just beautiful. Here we have our chili chocolate bonbon. This is inspired by a chili brownie that we had. So it's got a nice chocolate cream on the inside, the same base that's used for the Vegemite one, but instead in this one we mix in a bit of spice to really give it a bit of kick. And then it's sprinkled on the top with chili flakes after being This one will have you reaching probably for a glass of milk, but definitely worth it. Just the heat and the sweetness and the chocolate. Ooh, it's a very good combination. Now we do include always on our special selection platters a couple of our seconds just to show you what we do have in that arena as well. We are not perfect with our chocolates, but we obviously have all of our more perfected chocolates are our grade one. And then we have our kind of oddball chocolate range, which is anything that we make mistakes on, anything like that. Then that goes into our oddball chocolate range. It is a significant discount on the normal range. You don't get any choice really on what comes in it. As far as obviously if we don't have any um, oddball white chocolate. For example, pecan. if you want a white chocolate pecan nut cluster, if we don't have any that have been up, you can't choose that. We don't have the full range available. You can choose from within the ones that we have in that selected range to for what you would like in your box. Mm. So these two that we have here, 
We do have normal varieties of them as well. Uh, they just, yeah, we had a trainee who was working, uh, and these were some of their work. They'll be, they'll be getting a, a bit better as they go through. So this is our Neapolitan chocolate. It has a line of strawberry, a line of vanilla, and a line of chocolate. Simply delicious. Then it's dipped in milk chocolate. On our normal range, we do also have a dark chocolate and white chocolate version of this. This is our double chocolate, and it has a two lines of vanilla, one line of chocolate through the middle, and then it's dipped in white chocolate, and you can see the attempts at the swirling across the top with both milk and dark chocolate. As I said, um, until the work gets better, we may be keeping her, uh, her pieces on this range, but it is convenient to have that range so that we don't have to, you know, throw out these pieces of work. Because they do still taste simply delicious. And here we have, this is actually the cashew cluster. I missed that one. That is the almond cluster. Don't know what I was seeing earlier. So, three delicious cashews, just covered in dark chocolate. You get a little bit extra around the edge just to really give you that chocolate kick that you're looking for. Right next to door, we have this almond nut cluster in white chocolate. Obviously, those come in dark chocolate, white chocolate, and then we have a milk chocolate version as well. All are lovely. These almonds are sourced uh, locally here. The farmer is amazing, and we always get a wonderful crop every year for our almonds. Really marvelous. This is our inside out bonbon. So this has a chocolate cream interior, just a classic chocolate cream. Oh, so good. Then it's dipped in white chocolate with a healthy little stripe of dark chocolate across the top. Yummy. Here is our plain caramel chocolate. So it's just a cube of caramel wrapped in milk chocolate, a little C on the top, so we know that one's the caramel, since it doesn't get its own little nut, since there's no nut inside. <laughs> yeah. And this one does come in all three varieties. Yeah. Dark, milk, and the white. Now, this one's a little different. You can see it does have nuts on the top, but it is a bit of pecan on the top, but unlike this one, it's not a full nut, so the ones that have crushed nuts on the top are not the same as a nut cluster or a chocolate caramel. Mm -hmm. This is a maple bonbon, so it's got a beautiful maple cream. It's a little bit of uh, the, so like the balsamic and the chocolate. A little bit lighter interior. This one's a little bit heftier. It's a really beautiful, smooth texture on the inside with an amazing, authentic maple flavor. Oh yeah, no, it's delicious. Then here we have the Walnut Caramel Cluster. Mmm, yeah, just again, just beautiful caramel. Lovely chocolate, and a beautiful nut on the top. Now, for anybody from Ohio, they may recognize this one. <laughs> for those playing at home. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, no, I had a roommate who was from Ohio, and she loved Buckeyes. And this is, that's actually who I first learned to make Buckeyes from. But, obviously, I've learned a more sophisticated technique, being a chocolatier now, but still a lot of the same premise. 
So this is a beautiful buckeye. It's got lovely peanut butter flavor on the interior, just wrapped in chocolate. We do do these in dark milk and white as well. For those who really don't like a chocolate peanut butter flavor, but still do like peanut butter, the white chocolate peanut butter combination can be a real winner. So, just for when you're purchasing gifts and that sort of thing, something to keep in mind. But that is one of my favorites. I think it's truly spectacular. The last two we have here are the, this is the Walnut Nut Cluster for dark chocolate, and then our Macadamia Nut Cluster in white chocolate. I actually love this one because it just sits in a little cube and you can just see the macadamia nuts just poking out from the top. But also the shape on this one I think is lovely. The way walnuts sit together can be really lovely. Yeah, so this is yeah, what we have to sample. You can go ahead and sample any that you want from this sampler. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut you off a piece. Obviously, this is, you know, a more than a box of chocolates worth, so we can't give you the full piece, but we can give you a little bit of each of them if you would like to try, so that you can figure out what you might want in some boxes of chocolates, and I think you said you were going to get some for gifts as well. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing better than getting No, I don't think so. Yeah, so just go ahead, um, let me know what you would like, and we'll uh, go ahead and delve into these. Thanks for watching.